Hello and welcome to my tutorial. This is an After Effects tutorial and I will show you how I control an anim animation by a Wi-Fi. So it's controlled by the audio. In my example I took a photo of Mishka. This is the favorite teddy bear of my wife. My wife was murdered in 2009, March 4, in the streets of Vienna and this was the Russian beer Mishka Mishka from Russia and I want to animate him I want to make him say hello and when he says hello to us his mouth should uh, move with the audio for this purpose I have prepared Mishka a picture of Mishka with uh, Photoshop. In this layer, in the first layer, I have uh, the photo of Mishka. And uh, if the mouth opens, we can see inside the mouth. So I need something inside the mouth, and this is a little brown. Inside the bear's mouth, it's brown, and I put over it in a third layer the mouth. I just want to animate the mouth just like I do here in Photoshop but it should be uh, with the audio so that's what I prepared I have a Photoshop with uh, three layers to bear inside the mouth and the mouth now let's turn over to After Effects I also have prepared the audio what well, I have spoken let's hear the audio now hello I am Mishka. Medved is the sea. The Medved is the sea. Well, this Russian is uh, the bear from Russia. So I take the WAV file and uh, put it in my After Effects. And then I import the PSD file. This is Mishka PSD. Photoshop file. I do not want to merge the layers. I just want to have editable layer styles. So now I put my audio to make new composition. It's nearly seven seconds long. And now I take uh, first layer. It's the bear. into my composition inside the mouth is over it and above it's the mouth of Mishka it's a little too big we have to scale it down let's say to 30 percent I will copy that to the other layers and here we are we have the bear, we have inside his mouth, and we have Mishka's mouth here. Last layer is the wave file. Now I want to animate the mouth. Well, for this purpose I select the mouth layer, Mishka see it's only the mouth and now I use the puppet tool and make pin in the middle of the mouth and one on the right side and on the left side of his mouth here I have the puppet tool the mesh one and the pins interesting pin is the number one this is the one I want to animate and I want to put it down so like this a yes. little too much but like this okay here is on layer number four I have the audio and this is my hello, I am Mishka. Medved is a C. That's what it says. 
Now I need to generate keyframes from this audio. How to do? Well, that's uh, simple to do. Animation, keyframe assistant, and convert audio to keyframes. A new layer is generated and there's audio amplitude. Here are left channel and right channel. I don't need it. Both channels, that's all right for me. And I want to take these keyframes to control the motion of the mouth. It's very simple to do. I take position, remove this keyframe. So position, animation, add expression, and here is the whip. And I connect the whip to the slider from my audio amplitude layer. As you can see, we have a formula and the formula is first he is calculating a temp value. The temp value comes from this slider is actually 0.61 and then uh, he says well this is the whip do the X position with this temp value and the Y position too. Well we don't want to change the X position so I take this value 2394.7 and I'll take the temp animation and I will add well 3389.3 minus the 0.61 well, this is approximately 3,388, uh, let's say, 0.7 plus this temp value. And this temp value should move 10 times more than this value in the slider. This is my formula. Let's have a check. I go to a word, mouth should be open, and, and it is open, very good, and it is closed here. So the beer shuts up when there is no audio, and it opens mouth when there is an audio. So, it's quite simple to do. Uh, you may wonder, why do I need two other pins if I only animate this one? Well, the answer is simple. This should not move and this is the edge of the mouth. It should not move too. I want only this here in the middle to move up and down. I will show you here. You see the edge is not moved down. It looks like the mouth is opening. That's why I need three pins, only to stabilize these edges of the mouth. So, let's hear the animation. We have to pre-render. You see that uh, the mouth is Moving a little after one second, one and a half second is a second word, and so on. We have to wait a little until the animation is rendered, and then we can see and then we can hear everything how Mieszka is talking to us and saying hello to us. So, only one second to be rendered. All right, and here we go. Hello, I am Mishka. Medved is the sea. Hello, I am Mishka. Medved is the sea. Quite simple to do. 
a few clicks and you have a good animation. With this trick, you can control not only um, an animation, you can also control the brightness of a picture or other parameters. You can also do something with a formula to transform with a formula. And uh, I would need, so let's say, three days to show that all you can do, and before I need months to learn it all because I don't know what I think. But I think this is quite a nice feature to let somebody something speak to you an emotion. And finally, I have prepared a very small animation with Mishka. It's a little longer. You can see Mishka talking to us. Hello, I'm Mishka, the bear from Russia. And in the background, I have a uh, drum kit, the kick drum and the snare. And with every kick drum, I change the brightness. The picture gets brighter. And with the snare drum, I control the nose of Mishka. So let's see this. Hello, I am Mishka. Medved is the sea. Okay, and that's all. I hope you like it. And now be creative and create something strange. And then let me see what you've done. Bye-bye.